Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Arsenal could sell phenomenal player this week. Arsenal are now set to sell Granit Xhaka to Bayer Leverkusen this week after sealing the deal to sign Declan Rice. The Swiss international's desire to leave the club has been a terribly kept secret over the last few months. Bayer Leverkusen wanted him even before the end of last season, but a deal still hasn't materialized. Now finally, Chaka is set to leave Arsenal, and a German outlet have shared the latest on the situation. Arsenal reached a full agreement with West Ham to sign Declan Rice last night, with Fabrizio Romano even delivering his trademark, here we go, to raise the excitement level among Gunners fans. Romano then claimed that Yuri and Tamber's arrival and Chaka's exit is next on Edu's agenda. The report from the German outlet backs that claim and has revealed as translated by sport witness that Chaka's move to Leverkusen will be officially confirmed later this week. It has been reported that the Bundesliga side will pay Arsenal a fee of £21.5 million, which will make him Leverkusen's third most expensive signing in their history after Karim Demirbay and Patrick Schick. The report further claims that a deal should be completed this week and Chaka could even take part in a pre-season training under Chabi Alonso on Monday as a new Bayer Leverkusen player. That would bring an end to Chaka's seven-year stay at Arsenal. Almost everyone knew Granit Chaka would be leaving Arsenal at the end of last season. This was international even scored a brace in what could now be his final game as a gunner and he received a fantastic farewell from the Emirates faithful. Edo deserves an immense amount of praise for this deal. Leverkusen initially only wanted to pay £13 million for Chaka, but they will now be paying £21.5 million, which is an incredible fee for a 30-year-old. £45 million star hailed the most important player at Arsenal, set for crunch talks with Mikel Arteta. The latest report suggests that Arsenal midfielder Thomas Partey is going to have discussions with manager Mikel Arteta over his future. According to a report from Charles Watts Football, Partey is set for crunch talks with Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta in the near future to decide if he leaves or stays. Partey will apparently soon link up with the Gunners for a preseason, but the report suggests that the Gunners are open to letting him leave. The defensive midfielder reportedly wants to seek clarity over his future and find out if he is in Arsenal's long-term plans. He has apparently never told the club he wants to leave. The reported £45 million signing was a key player for most of the campaign last season. Pounded Darren Bent even called him the most important player at the club. He was key for the club, but like many in the side, his form started to drop towards the end of the season. Due to this, manager Mikel Arteta will not want a repeat of this pattern and therefore you can understand why players like Party are available in the transfer window. The Gunners will want to battle for the title again next season. They need stop stars. They have already signed Kai Havertz and reached an agreement with West Ham to sign Declan Rice too. Rice brings a lot to both attack and defense. He already plays at a very top level, but with him still 24 years old, he could definitely perform at a higher world class level. It will be interesting to see how this plays out. The report suggests that Party has many interested in clubs, including Juventus and the clubs in Saudi Arabia. He is definitely a player to watch this summer. Sky Sports journalist says Arsenal could sell their breathtaking winger now. Sky Sports journalist Darme Sheth has claimed that Arsenal youngster Marquinhos could end up leaving the club on a permanent deal this summer. The young Brazilian joined the Gunners from Sao Paulo last year. He was viewed as one for the future, but he announced himself in style by scoring and picking up an assist on his debut in the Europa League. Marquinhos spent the second half of last season on loan at Norwich City and Schaaf has now claimed on Sky Sports that the Gunners are pondering over his future. Arsenal's transfer philosophy over most of the last few years has been to sign talented young players with the potential to become superstars one day. They have had immense success on that front, 
With Gabriel Martinelli being a fantastic example, he joined the club as an unknown quantity, but quickly became one of the most exciting young players in the world. The hope for Arsenal would have been to see Marquinhos, branded as a breathtaking by George Bird for his assist last year, go on to have a similar rise, but the youngster hasn't quite had the same amount of opportunities with the first team as Martinelli did under Unai Emery in his debut season. Now despite a decent spell on loan at Norwich, Sheth has claimed that a permanent departure cannot be ruled out. Fabrizio Romano says here we go as Arsenal close in on a huge signing. Arsenal have been pushing to sign Declan Rice from West Ham United this summer and Fabrizio Romano has claimed that the deal is done. Mikel Arteta has worked wonders at the Emirates over the last few years. He hasn't just made the Gunners title challengers, but he has completely changed the atmosphere in and around the club as well. The Arsenal boss deserved to be heavily backed in this window, and Stan Crowing has done just that. Rice is all set to be a Gunner for a club record fee soon. It has been over a week since Arsenal and West Ham agreed on a total fee to sign Declan Rice. However, the payment structure caused a big delay. West Ham were adamant that they wanted the whole thing paid as quickly as possible, while Arsenal tried their best to spread the payment over a number of installments. In the end, West Ham and Arsenal agreed on a deal that suits all parties, and Fabrizio Romano and a number of others revealed last night that a final agreement has been reached. After what has been a long transfer saga, Rice is finally set to become an Arsenal player. Arsenal fans, it's time to celebrate. Almost every Gunners supporter had one wish before the start of the window to sign Declan Rice. The Englishman was viewed by everyone as the game changer Arsenal needed, and it looks like they have got their man. Rice is expected to undergo an Arsenal medical on Friday before an official announcement confirms the transfer. 21-year-old Arsenal man Mikel Arteta has never played, spotted in Arsenal pre-season training. Arsenal youngster Omar Rekik has been spotted in first-team training as Mikel Arteta's side prepare for next season. Arsenal shared a selection of photos on their official website as the Gunners get back to work, while Arteta waits for his new signings to arrive, as well as any players who were involved in international duty, several youngsters have been called up to flesh out the squad. One player involved in first-team training at Arsenal already is defender Omar Rekik. The 21-year-old has never made a senior appearance at the club, but might be given an opportunity during pre-season on Arsenal's website, Rekik can be seen battling with defender Gabriel Magales during a training drill. The young defender has already moved around an awful lot during his short career. After coming through Feyenoord's academy, he ended up joining Manchester City before quickly moving to PSV Eindhoven and then Marseille. He then spent four years in Hertha Berlin before finally landing at Arsenal in 2021, signed for around £540,000. Rakik has already had two loan spells away from Arsenal, most recently joining Wigan Athletic. However, he couldn't prevent the Latics from being relegated from the championship last season. It's very unlikely that Rakik will be involved at Arsenal this season. Also, the likes of Rob Holding could be off, leaving the Gunners short of centre-back options. He is not ready for a Premier League campaign. Rakik will hop training with the Arsenal first team, will earn him another loan move this season. He needs to have a good campaign away from the club for the sake of his career at the Emirates. Rio Ferdinand issues verdict on a 22-year-old reportedly in talks with Arsenal. Rio Ferdinand believes that Julian Tamber is going to be a good signing for Arsenal and suggests that he would probably opt for the Dutchman alongside William Saliba at centre-back. Ferdinand was speaking on his YouTube channel following the news from The Athletic that Declan Rice has now received permission to undergo a medical with the Gunners. Once Rice completes his move, it would appear that Arsenal will switch their focus to making sure that a deal for Yuri and Tamber gets across the line. According to the Daily Mirror, Tamber has agreed a five-year deal with Arsenal, 
the gunners meanwhile have reached an agreement with Ajax over a fee which could reach 45 million pound so everything appears to be in a place for the 22 year old to follow Kai Havertz and probably rise to the Emirates and Ferdinand has issued his verdict on the potential addition of Tamber. He said he is quick, he can play, he is good on the ball, he will be a good addition to the team. I think he is an improvement on what they have got as well. I'd probably look at it and say him and Saliba might play, but I think it's a good battle there. If Tamber comes and they have got Saliba, Gabriel, Ben White and Tamber as a four, I'd be very very comfortable with that if I was Mikel Arteta. Like so many of the current Arsenal squad, Tamber adds depth in a couple of areas. He appears to be just as comfortable at right back as he is at centre back. So it's unclear at this stage what Mikel Arteta may have in mind for the likes of Tamber, Ben White or Gabriel Magalis. You would imagine that William Saliba will indeed be the player the Arsenal defence is built around and he did form a brilliant partnership with Gabriel for the large majority of last season. White was a revelation at right back too, so it's hard to call where Tamber may end up. Fabrizio Romano says Real Madrid are now close to signing superstar Arsenal target. Arsenal were heavily linked with a move to sign Arda Guller this summer, but it looks like Real Madrid are on the verge of winning the race to sign him. The Gunners have nothing to complain about in this window so far. They have brought in Kai Havertz already, while Declan Rice is now just a medical away from moving to the Emirates. One thing Arsenal may end up being disappointed about is missing out on one of the most talented young players in the world, Guller. Fabrizio Romano has claimed on Cout of Side that Real Madrid are close to signing him now, just over a month ago. Turkish football claimed that Arsenal and Newcastle United were leading the race to sign Arda Güler from Venerbahce. It was reported that the two English clubs had already made contact with the player's family about a potential move. Then last week, as claimed Arsenal are among a number of clubs ready to trigger Güler's release clause, which is set at just over £17 million. Now Romano has revealed that Real Madrid have tabled an offer worth more than his release clause and are confident they will sign Guller ahead of all the other interested clubs this summer, the journalist claimed. Last night, Real Madrid submitted an improved proposal for Arda Guller. They are offering a guaranteed 20 million euros to Venerbahce, which is more than his release clause, and also a 20% sell-on clause. There would also be add-ons. So it's a big package and an agreement is really close, even if not 100% completed yet. Real Madrid now believe Arda Guller will be their player. They think the deal is going to be done. It's a crazy story because many clubs wanted him, but Real Madrid are now in a strong position to make it happen. They feel he wants to go there and it's just about final details now, said Fabrizio Romano. Journalists suggest extraordinary Arsenal target now won't be on the move this summer. Real Madrid star Aurelian Chouamini is unlikely to be on the move this summer amid interest from Arsenal. Journalist Bennett Jacobs was speaking to the Born and Red YouTube channel as the transfer window rolls on. Arsenal are going into the summer all guns blazing as they look to once again challenge Manchester City. Kai Havertz has already arrived at the Emirates and the Gunners are set to break the bank to sign Declan Rice and Urian Tamber. All three players vastly improved the overall quality of Arsenal's squad going into next season. After challenging for the title for so long, Mikel Arteta will hope that trio provide Arsenal with that extra left they need. However, they might not be done there and have been linked with a sensational move for Aurelien Chouamini. The extraordinary midfielder would be a phenomenal signing and a real signal of intent. However, Jacobs believes that Chouamini is unlikely to move to Arsenal or Liverpool this summer. Regardless of whether a club offers to buy or loan the French international, he looks set to stay put. Asked about the 23-year-old, Jacobs said, I think we can start with the Chouamini. The feeling is there won't be a departure from Real Madrid. We are hearing lots of rumors. Arsenal have been vaguely linked 
but my understanding is that loan or purchase or loan with a purchase option is not on the table at the moment. We do know that Liverpool have looked before in that particular area and at that kind of player, so we can certainly say there is a historical interest there. For Arsenal to sign another midfielder, at least one of their current options needs to leave. Granny Chaka's proposed move to Bayer Leverkusen finally looks like it might happen now. Rice is on the verge of signing. Thomas Party has also been linked with a move away from the club and has reportedly told Arteta he wants to leave. If both players go, Arsenal will want another midfielder to fill the gap in the squad. It remains to be seen if Arsenal have a chance in signing Chouamini. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.